Mikey, don't you think we're kind of bored after work? Let's go and take a walk around the city. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Yes, JJ, I think this is the perfect idea for this day. I just took a water scooter to ride on the water. Oh, precisely. I completely forgot about it. Great. If we can really ride on the water and have a lot of fun, then I'm only happy with this idea. Great. How cool it looks. I think we'll go for a ride to the nearest island and look for something else there. Wait a minute, JJ. I forgot how to swim. But don't worry. I'm not drowning. Get on the scooter soon. Now I will show you one place where the nature is very beautiful and the air is clean. We'll be able to get some air just in time. So tell them we're just going back home. We have a bunch of cars at home that we just bought and that we haven't driven yet. But there is a feeling that today there is absolutely no desire to ride cars. Yes, JJ, you're right. I just want to come home and lie on the bed or watch a couple of movies to eat something delicious. For example, some snacks. Let's watch the news. Let's find out what happened while we were out of town. Hmm? What is this tower? It looks threatening. And what is there inside? JJ, this tower looks like some kind of cross. Don't you think it's like a tower from fairy tales? It even looks very beautiful. But I wonder what's inside. Maybe there is something interesting inside. Take a look. According to the news, they say that one person has disappeared in this tower. Who could be missing there? Look over there. They said it was a bloody tower. What a nightmare. And there's an open door. And this means that there is really someone inside. Let's see who's there. I think that people are being sent there in order to save him. Hmm? JJ, do you see this? This tower has a lot more floors than I thought. Do you hear that crying? Oh my god! Is that a child inside? What a nightmare! And what are they going to do now? Poor boy. Jade Age. We need to go check it out for ourselves right now. I don't really believe what was shown on the news. You're right. Get on the helicopter soon. Let's fly there right now. We need to see this place and come up with some kind of plan to save this boy. If this boy is still alive, then it will be very good. We can save him. Are you ready, JJ? Let's fly quickly. It seems that this tower is not as far away as we thought. This tower is so huge. On TV, it seemed that this tower was not so huge. But live, it's just a huge building. What a nightmare. I think that boy is very scared. I'm looking at this and I don't feel right anymore. You're right. And the fact that there are a lot of people there is also frightening. It means that this news is spreading very quickly across our island. Land the helicopter somewhere. Let's try to ask people what they know or what they can tell about this boy. We need to write down all the information that is available about this tower. Hi, guys. Did you gather here because you saw it on the news or just because this tower suddenly appeared in this place? It seems they are all so shocked by this tower. JJ! And this child is not lost but just sitting inside. We can go inside and look at it ourselves. JJ here. Hmm? Is the baby here? Great! That means that everything is fine with him. Hello, boy. Why are you sitting here? You should go back to your mom because everyone started worrying about you. All right, get out of here quickly. Mikey, it means that everything is fine with this tower so far, but we'd better prepare for the worst outcome. It seems to me that the bloody tower could not have appeared just like that. If that's what you think, I trust you more than the guys on the news. It would be better to go to the weapons store soon then. Let's try to buy something in order to be prepared for a terrible outcome. JJ, this store is considered the best on our island. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi, man. We'd like to buy a couple of guns from you. I see that you have a lot of interesting weapons. Then we didn't come in vain. But it seems that we don't have that kind of money yet. Mikey, I think we should go and earn this money as soon as possible before he sells it to someone. <laughs> Hmm. Then let's get into this mine. Let's try to make a lot of money from there. I think there's going to be something cool. Look at this, JJ. It's just a bunch of emeralds. Mm-hmm. It's just great. We were able to dig up so many emeralds, and it's not even a part of everything that's here. But it should be enough for us for sure. And now we go rather to the bank, because most likely it does not accept emeralds. 
So, we're going to the bank to change it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, girl. We have come to exchange all these emeralds for dollars. I hope we can do this. Great! I am so glad that there is this bank on our island. Otherwise, we wouldn't know what to do with such a bunch of emeralds. We have to hurry, because this tower started to look scary. We're going to buy guns now and go to this tower before something happens. Hi, man. We brought you dollars. That's why we want to buy everything you have now. We are going on a very dangerous mission. Here are your dollars, and you need the best weapons you have. Great! I see that you have not deceived us. Great! If that's all we need for that, then I think we can go there right now. It's good that our helicopter is here. That's why we don't have to go home. Sit down quickly. Let's see what you saw in that tower. You're right. Let's fly quickly. It seems that we don't have time at all now. It wasn't my imagination, was it? Because I saw that the eyes of this tower lit up and it looks very creepy. Oh no, it seems that I did not imagine it. Look at this, it's a nightmare. Those sinister eyes say that something terrible has happened there. The fact that all the water suddenly turned bloody was terribly scary. But what's even worse is that there are a bunch of monsters everywhere around this tower that weren't there before. I think it's all because of some kind of infection. After all, these monsters look like they used to be ordinary villagers. Mikey and I will have to kill everyone else before they do something terrible. JJ, did you hear that? It seemed to be the sounds of those monsters. How many of them are there? I can't believe this is all happening right now. I think we definitely don't have a choice now, and we need to kill them all before they do something to our village. I think we won't have any problems with these monsters. Look at them. They're just ordinary weaklings. I think they are not the main problem in this tower. Something even worse than just these monsters probably happened here. Mikey, be on your guard. Although we were able to kill all these monsters easily, there will be something even worse here. Hmm? JJ, it seems you were right. These monsters were just weaklings, but what I just heard scares me so much that I can't even move normally. JJ, is this a dragon? What a nightmare! It's really a dragon! JJ, is this most likely the boss of this tower and do we need to kill him too? Can we do it? We have no other choice. If we don't kill this dragon now, then most likely he will attack our village. And I am sure that he will not leave even a trace of existence from our village. So gather all the oxen in your fist and shoot this dragon before it gets stronger. Shoot him in the wings. That way, we can get rid of his wings and he won't be able to fly anywhere. JJ, we managed to put him on the ground. That's great. Then let's shoot at his weakest points as soon as possible. JJ, it seems to me that his weak point is his body. Because look at him, his scales don't cover all the places. So we can only do harm in these places. Mm -hmm. oh! hey, hey, we did it! I knew we could kill that stupid dragon! We saved our island! Start doing what I wanted to do with Mikey. Namely, to harvest the entire crop that has already grown in our garden. It's not for nothing that we planted all these plants. And where is he? Has he gone somewhere? Mikey, where are you? Have you disappeared? Hmm? JJ, did you come to me? I've been doing some business here. I thought you'd come a little later. What do you want? Do you most likely want to harvest the crop that most likely grew in the garden? Then great, let's make it quick. I'm so hungry, I'm just starving. Hmm, fried potatoes. I think it's gonna be just a great dinner for me. What about you? Are you on a diet? Why did you only pick carrots? I just want to grow up a little bit. See you at the mine tomorrow. Good, it's strange that he started thinking about it so late. I hope he knows that he won't grow up anymore. Mm. It's incredible how well I was able to sleep. Yesterday's potatoes were so delicious. And also the way I cooked it. It's just delicious. So, Mikey and I had to go to the mine today. Isn't he at home now? I hope he hasn't forgotten about our deal. I should tell him about the carrots that he won't grow any bigger. Hmm? What is he doing? Maybe I shouldn't bother him. JJ? Huh? You didn't want to bother me, but I heard you talking. You're so weird. Okay. Let's go to the mine soon. I was told that there are just a bunch of diamonds there now. We can get very rich if we go right now. And I also want to say that the carrot didn't even help me. I haven't grown an inch. 
I don't think you should even try to do that. So let's forget about it. And let's dig up all these diamonds that are here. I hope there's a pickaxe here too. Great, now we need to dig it all up here. It's good that we used to dig for hours. Mm hmm, how right you are. Mm hmm. I knew there would be a lot of diamonds here, but I didn't think there would be so many. It's just gorgeous. Hey, hey. Okay, Mikey, let's go home soon. I do not know what time it is now. Do you think so? I would like to please a little more, but okay. I think I'm getting sleepy already. Mm hmm. Huh? Hmm? Why is it so dark outside? Is it really midnight outside? Guys, you're JJ and Mikey, right? Your friend Brian told me about you. Don't worry, I want to tell you that my name is Alice and I have to show you something. Let's follow me quickly. I'm afraid this is a very serious problem for our village. What could be a big problem? Have we run out of sweet rolls in the village? If so, I can quickly solve this problem. And I'm not even interested in other problems. I think you'll quickly change your mind when you see this. Look at this. We don't know where it comes from or what it is. That's why I decided to show it to you. Yes, it's bad. I think you're really right that this is a pretty big problem. What do you want us to do? She's gone. But it seems to me that he wants us to solve this problem. They are strange people after all. They think that we carry weapons with us. Hmm? Mikey, where did you get all this? Do you really carry a gun with you? So what? On the contrary, it has helped us now. So let's not go back to this conversation and instead we'll just kill all these monsters that are trying to attack our village. Let them know that they are not capable of anything against us. It was pretty simple. But what are we going to do with this portal? Where did it come from here at all? I think someone just built this portal on purpose. Otherwise, there is no way to explain it. I don't think these monsters could have built anything with their own hands. Don't you think so? You're right. But with that, we have to go home to sleep. Because everything that happens next is no longer our problem. This should be handled by specialists. Hello, everyone. Your favorite reporter, Alice, is with you. And our main defender, Brian, is next to me. You all know him. But what you don't know is that a huge portal appeared near our village that brought us a bunch of monsters that they successfully eliminated. Thank you for that. But what are you going to do now? What if they attack us again? Thank you for telling us about this portal. I will answer only one thing. So that these monsters don't kill anyone, you need to be careful. We do not know where this portal came from and how many more monsters will come to us from there. So I decided that the best solution is to send guys there who can figure it out. They should be here any minute then it's great if specialists do it. We are so glad that there are such people in our village. Guys, you heard what he said yourself. You need to take care of yourself and your loved ones. I hope that we can see together how this portal will be destroyed. I ask all of you to step away from the wiper and not jump over this fence. Otherwise, you will be instantly removed from here. I hope you understand the seriousness of this situation because this is not a joke and we'll see when these monsters can come back. And my name is Gray, and I want to explore all these monsters that were killed yesterday. I will be able to find the perfect weapon against these monsters. When the two who pass through this portal come up, I will tell them about it. I hope this will work. I say again, get away from the fence. We didn't just put it like that. I can't believe they decided to send us with Mikey, but apparently we still have no other choice. After all, this is our village too. That's why Mikey and I need to get ready for this fight right now. It's good that I still have weapons and armor from previous missions in my chest. I hope Mikey saved that too. I'm even a little scared at the thought that he and I will go to that portal, where the whole army of these monsters is most likely located, even though we killed them quite easily yesterday. But there was only a small group of them. And what awaits behind the portal? Even scientists do not know. JJ, 
Are you ready for this? You should know how excited I am. I just can't stand it. I'm ready to go there the very second I see this portal. If they sent us, it means we are the most worthy of all. Don't you understand that? And when we kill them all, we will also become heroes of our village. Even though you're right, but it's still a risk that we might die. Don't you understand that? I would understand if these monsters attacked us, but it turns out that we are going to their territory where we don't even know how many monsters will be waiting for us. I hope everything goes smoothly. Mm -hmm. JJ, there are already a couple of monsters waiting for us down this corridor. Let's kill them and go deep into this place. It's so creepy here. I was ready for everything, but not for this. JJ, let's stick together. I'm so scared. But not because of the monsters, but because I'm afraid of screamers. You shouldn't be afraid of this. Let's go slowly and check all the corners that we see. You never know what might be there. For example, this place. Why are there so many monsters in this hole? Because they smelled us and decided to attack with the whole army. JJ, it seems to be a dragon. I think he's the most important one among them. Just idiots. I do not know how they could get there, but now it's much easier to kill them all. How stupid you are. It's going to be easy. I thought it would be much more difficult. I also thought this place would be scary, but I see that you just enjoy it. To be honest, I thought we'd have to kill them in another way, but apparently fate itself has helped us in this. We can say- But I'm telling you that it happened in our village, literally a couple of years before we came here. What is this strange feeling that someone is watching me? Who is it here? I definitely heard someone pass by me just now. Maybe I shouldn't have watched that chorus movie. I'm definitely not going to get home normally now. What a strange village this is. Almost everything is destroyed and there is no one here. Is this village abandoned? I don't see anyone. Hmm? And what is this passage? And no one has seen him since. They say that whoever was following him caught him in that place and ate him. And sometimes at night you can meet that guy. Uh, okay, JJ. I think the story wasn't very good. And we don't want you to tell things like that anymore. And Frack and I had better go home and rest. JJ, I think he was definitely scared of this story and wanted to go home as soon as possible so as not to pee his pants. Let's go home and play something too. If that's what you think, then it's probably true. Well, all right. If they don't want to believe, then don't let them believe. It won't make us feel any worse, but we can't say that we had a bad time around the campfire. Still, it was nice to sit and talk about something. You're right. Do you want to watch some movie with me? Are you going to bed? Yes, I'm tired today, and I just want to lie down on the bed and sleep. Have a good movie viewing, and don't fall asleep there as usual. Mm. Hmm? Hasn't he gone to bed yet? I told him not to fall asleep at the TV again. What an idiot. Hmm? Was it my imagination, or did I hear someone's footsteps? Huh? Hmm? I don't like it, and it's better if I'm ready to fight. My gun is lying here idle. Whoever it is, you better get out of my house. I might accidentally shoot you. I think it's definitely not Mikey, because I can hear him snoring here and I won't confuse him with anything. But then whose steps were they? Or who was knocking on the windows? Mikey, if this is your prank, then you won't come into the house anymore. I'm sure I heard it 100% and now someone's footsteps. It's like they're coming here. <laughs> What was that just now? What kind of monster was that? What's going on here? I definitely saw this monster and it was very big and scary. I can't believe it now. I think I just need to sleep. Mikey, you need to go to bed too. What an idiot you are if you couldn't get to bed by yourself. Hmm? Something very strange is happening here and I can't even explain what it is. I hope Mikey doesn't wake up from this. Hmm? But it's all very, very creepy. As if someone is deliberately trying to scare me. But apparently he doesn't have the guts to attack me. What a coward. And here's your bed, Mikey. Remember this place and lie down only here. Whew, I'm tired too. And it's time for me to go to bed as early as possible. Mm -hmm. Mikey, stay here and don't move. I need to check something because I just saw something near the door. I don't think it was a man. I should have pretended that I was going to bed so that he wouldn't suspect me. Where did you hide? Why do you want to run away from me so badly? Don't be afraid of me. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm a good guy. But if you keep hiding from me like that, then I might get mad at you. You know that my patience is not endless. If you want to kill me or someone else, you better do it while I'm not looking at you. 
But where did you go? What kind of stupid childish games are these? Who was that knocking on the door? Come on! Stay there and don't go anywhere! This is some kind of mockery again. What is it here? Hmm? It seems to be no one. But what kind of body is this? Oh no! Frank! What happened to you? Who did this? I can't believe it! Precisely. I have cameras at home. If I look at the recordings, I can see who did it and then I can make sure that it was some kind of monster. And that it's not all a dream. Great! But computer? Show me the camera footage from the last two hours. Mm-hmm. Huh? What is this? This is exactly the monster I saw in front of my eyes. Does that mean he killed Frank? What a horror! I can't believe it right now. So this is a recording of where I took Mikey to bed. But I can't see anything from here and it seems to me that I just imagined or imagined it. But this is all my hope, of course, because I saw this monster near the doorway. Oh. So that's why I felt that look on me. And this monster was so brazen? They're standing in the aisle, looking at me and Mikey. But why did you need it? What did you want to do all this time? I can't understand you at all. You knew that I knew that you were here and I had a gun. It was easier for you to attack me and take Mikey away. Hmm? Precisely. Have you been trying to distract me from everything all this time to get Mikey? Oh no! Then I'm just an idiot for leaving our room. Mikey! If you can hear me, then answer me. Aren't you at home? Oh no, he was already here. What a horror! What an idiot. I shouldn't have strayed too far from Mikey. Why did I do that? Now this monster has taken him away and has most likely already killed or eaten him. No! I'm to blame for all this. What should I do now? Where should I look for him? Or how do I find him at all? I hope that I will find him on these tracks. If only I could find him. Where is he? Hmm? What is that? This monster has attacked our village. Oh no! Somebody help me! Save me from this monster! What should I do now? This monster will soon destroy the whole village and then get to me too. There must be a way to stop or kill him. But I don't like the fact that this monster doesn't look like the one I saw on the cameras. There's definitely something wrong here. I just need to figure out a way to kill this monster. And so I got home and I'm still alive. It can definitely be called a miracle. No other way. Great. I think I need to figure out a way to kill this monster. I think I'll start making transformation potions, and then I'll kill this monster in his own way. It's good that I have a book about this. There should be all the necessary ingredients for this potion in my basement. It's not for nothing that I collected all these things in my free time. And so now to the recipe. I need one piece of this, one gram of the plant, then I need to grind it all in a blender. Hey, hey! I thought this potion might not work, but now I feel incredibly strong. I don't even know why this monster hasn't killed everyone in our village yet, because doing it with his powers should have been the easiest thing in the world. Hey, you monster. Can you hear me? Do you want to ignore me? You can't do it because now I'm madder than ever. And I have only one goal. This is to stop you and bring my friend Mikey back to me. And you're the one who's going to tell me where he is and what happened to him. Yes, I still have a lot of questions. But don't worry, you will answer all my questions when I knock you out. What are you doing? Are you really trying to run away from me? Do you think you can do it? How wrong you are! I can only tell you one thing. The more you try to run away from me, the more I will make you suffer. And not just because you're an ordinary coward. Stop running away, stay where you are. You can't run away from me anyway. Either you fight me in a fair fight, or you'll get punches all over your body from me. I see that you no longer have the strength. Finally, give up. Hmm? What is this? Something is wrong. Hmm? Mikey? Were you that monster? What's going on here? Wake up now. How hey did you, you become this stupid monster? people? How do you like this reception from me? Do you want to get everything I can from me? Guys, shoot more accurately, don't miss. We need to hold him until the military comes here. Then let's see who gets who. Why are you so sluggish? Your life depends on it. You can't get upset ahead of time. You've already lost, stupid people. My friends will prove it to you. But dude, I can't believe they actually built such a big house out of stuff that's on fire. 
It's so easy to set it on fire that I don't even have to strain myself to completely destroy this house. That's right. The victory will definitely be ours. I think so too. <laughs> Guys, I hope you are all ready to attack. Don't feel sorry for them. Don't feel sorry for yourself. You have to do this for the sake of winning for all of us. I believe in you. And now let's all attack this city. What a day. A lot of problems at work. How are you doing, Mikey? I don't know about you, but I'm doing just fine. I can even say very well. I'm done working. And now I can just sit and watch TV, for example. Yes, we are lucky to have a job. But hmm? Don't you think there are some strange sounds outside? What? Whoa! Mikey, there are some Thomases there. It seems they've come back to kill us all. Rather, we take our weapons and we need to give them a fight. <laughs> do we have to fight tomatoes again? What a horror! I can't believe what are we going to do now? I just wanted to rest today. And because of you, my day off was ruined. Are you saying that I've been working for nothing all this time? But this time they are somehow stronger. Or do I think so? Because look at them. They got some legs and can shoot fireballs. And it's also much harder to hit them. JJ, maybe we should get out of here. I don't want them to destroy our house. Let's make sure they get away from here. Let's get out of here. But we have to kill those two Thomas first. Otherwise, they won't let us go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And now let's get in the car and get out of here. We should think about where we should go first. Maybe the center is empty? JJ. Maybe it's better to leave the city or something. I think staying in the city is not a good idea because there are more people here and more monsters will want to come here. Ah! Good, I get you. Let's get out of here. Let's try to get to the first shopping center and pick up food and supplies so that we won't be left without food and water at the shortest possible time. Mm -hmm. Look over there. There are some traces of blood. What could have happened here? It seems there was something very dangerous here. Hmm? I think I just imagined it. Thomas's feet are just standing there. But why are Thomas's feet standing there? What kind of place is this anyway? Do you see this? JJ, it's that scientist. What has he done here? I think it was because of him that our city was attacked by Thomas. Look at them. These are really Thomas's legs. I think he's been upgrading them. Yeah, this is very bad. So if he made them so strong, then there must be something that can stop them. Or is this scientist so stupid that he didn't think of this option? Then what do you think? How can we stop them? Maybe there's a weapon or something. Are they afraid of anything? I don't know. We need to find out. But I what? think I know where we can ah! find out about it. Whoa. Mikey, get in the car. We are leaving here urgently. We need to get to the lab as soon as possible to that guy who sells everything very unusual there. The horror. How many of them are there? I think they're waiting for a signal or something. We need to quickly find a weapon with which we can kill them all. <laughs> JJ, don't forget to close the door. Can we try to count them? Hmm? There are definitely more than three of them. Excellent arithmetic. Now can we go find that guy? This is much better than counting their number. What? What happened to these policemen? Guys, they're just sleeping. Don't worry. Would you like to buy my new product? You will definitely like it. This is an upgrade, Thomas Tank. It sounds really cool, but where did you get this? And how much does it cost? Do you want to ask me where I got this from? It's none of your business and the price will be 64 bucks. Do you want to buy some? I assure you it will be your best purchase. It seems we don't have any money with us, but we know where we can get them, right? Mm -hmm. Great, let's go to the bank soon. I don't think anyone is there. We can take the money out of the safe. Are you sure there won't be anyone there? And what if there are still evil bank guards there who won't even let us inside? There are a couple of Thomas standing there, but I think it won't be a big problem for us. The main thing is that we have a lot of weapons. Mm -hmm. Shoot them all! Don't give them a chance to survive. Hey, you, Thomas. What are you doing inside there? If we don't deal with you, then no one will do it. Therefore, you will have to prepare for the battle with us today. We will not let you take over our city. It seems there is no one else here. I think everyone is on the first floor. But I hear a couple more of them on the second. Let's go up to them and kill them. What are you doing here? Did you really think that we wouldn't kill everything? You've made a big mistake. That's why you died from us. And now we need to check all the safes that are here and take two stacks of bucks. That's right. Let's do it quickly before that guy goes anywhere. Or he might say that we've been gone too long and that he's already sold to someone hey, else. Hey, he won't be able to say it anymore because I just found a lot of money. But we only need two stacks to buy two Thomas tanks. And we can leave the rest. No one else will take them anyway. But why? 
why? I would have taken more so that I could buy everything I wanted later. For example, a new car or apartment. Have you thought about it? Hi, man. We came back with the money. Please take them and give us these Thomas tanks. The only question is, how will we become them? Stand right here and stand. I'll throw potions at you and you'll become them. Uh, how do you like your new Thomas tanks? Do you like it? Of course we like it. It's so unusual. I have four legs and no arms. It's so weird. But we have a lot of weapons now. Mikey, don't you want to see if we can kill those Thomas? Of course we can. Hey, you stupid Thomas. Did you want to take over our city? Then try it now. What? It seems you are not as confident as you used to be. Right. After all, now Thomas JJ Tank and Thomas Mikey Tank are fighting with you. And now you're all dead. There are so many of you here. I can't believe that that scientist could do so many things like that. Well, it's not scary. Even if you have a whole army or a whole city of them here, we will kill them all anyway. After all, you have disturbed the peace of our city, and most importantly, you have ruined our day off. Day off? How could I forget about the day off? It's just terrible. You also ruined our day off. Now I'm definitely angry. How dare you do that? If you ruined my day off, then I'll ruin your life. How do you like Takeo? Do you like it? I don't like it either. Therefore, next time, try to move before attacking someone's city. You wanted to tell them to think? But how will they think if they don't